the Whatnots Reactor Core number 90. My name wow. is Kyle Springer, and I am joined by Melissa Wilkinson, who is wowed. <laughs> 90s, very big. It is. It's getting up there. We are fast approaching episode 100. Uh, and I, I we're, we're, we're in the stages of planning or brainstorming what we want yeah. to do, 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 do for that one. So stay tuned on that because we will have something special. Uh, but for for right now, for here on this one, we are about to do our reaction for the season one finale of She-Hulk. It's pretty exciting stuff. I'm I'm looking forward to diving into this one. Uh, but let's start with you, Melissa. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Here we are at the end. <laughs> this was a very satisfying end. I love the meta narrative twist this took. Uh, uh, show me something new. I love it every time. Blow my mind about it. I'm there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I I I I went through like a whole cycle of stuff as wow. I was thinking about this cuz that like my very first initial reaction was that I actually didn't like it. But uh I have now come full circle and have been like, you know what? That was actually I I, I think the the most perfect ending yes. that I think it could have been. Yeah. Um yeah, like I, I at first was just like I felt like I got hit by a truck and was just like, wait, what happened exactly? I like I I knew what happened, but I don't know if I liked what happened. And mm. then just kind of as I was thinking about it and being like, well, you, you know, I I was wanting She-Hulk to break the fourth wall continually and do all that stuff. So th it's what her character would do like it's not a, so yeah that makes sense and then just talking about it with some people it was just like yeah you, you know what this was it this yeah. was it they like you said if, they gave us something new and it was just like i really enjoyed this if ever was there was a time to do it it is now it is in this episode of the show absolutely absolutely um so let's Dive in here. So we left off the last one at at this event that went completely wrong. There was a video of her and Josh having sex on screen. She smashed the screen. People started running. Uh, Intelligentsia was the perpetrators. They were also there. It seemed like they ran and got, got away. Got away. Mm -hmm. She Hulk smashed through a wall. She was real angry. Deo Daisy was right there to arrest her. Uh, and we pick up this one with a very cool callback to the original yeah. Incredible Hulk sh show. Jen is uh, is having a dream sequence that is the opening credits to the Incredible Hulk, the the Bill Bixby, uh, Lou Ferrigno show uh, from back in the day. I loved that. I thought it was brilliant. This is great. <laughs> yeah, I love the little touch of when it's showing Jen's life. It shows her on a date with Todd and it is footage of her, <laughs> but it is a still picture. image yeah. of Todd. It's his like picture. stock photo. <laughs> Didn't ask him to come back. <laughs> yeah and i like i i just the w complete way that they got that exact set that they built mm -hmm. all that same stuff to have her in that contraption that's like <laughs> moving her around. just mm, chef's kiss perfect spot on to see Bruce there in that was also a weird thing because that was originally his like thing right, right. But to, to see them hit him there at the end when it's just them two standing there and she, she, she's like, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And then you see him go. <laughs> just really <laughs> subtly, like, just <laughs> makes this no, no noise and turns his head just really mm, softly. Mm. It's just like, oh, my God, this is hilarious. This is perfect. I love that. Um but then she wakes up and she is in the damage control prison uh, and we see both uh, Nikki and Pug there with Mallory Buck. They're all being like, hey, um, hopefully you're feeling better. 
uh, we, we, we still love you. Um, <laughs> uh, and M M M Mallory, of course, is right there to be like, all right, let's get down to b b business. Uh, unfortunately, everyone saw the Hulk d hulking out. Um, yeah. Like, d as much as this was a targeted attack on you, you took the bait. Uh, and so she ends up taking a plea where she has to wear a power inhibitor uh, so that she can no longer become the She-Hulk and just has to be Jen. Just mm -hmm. Jen. Um, just so what Jen. did you think of uh, this development here? Did were, was, was, were you starting to be like, <laughs> that doesn't feel like her. What's it's, going it's, on here? It's a real bummer nothing felt off to me it just, because i even at this stage i imagined oh this is going to turn around like we are not in this forever this is just that third act darkness a lot of stories go through no oh, i i thought her moving back home with her parents was kind of cute i like when her mom shows that video to nikki and it's oh, jen and God. her friends dancing around in college and she's like wearing a thong and slapping her butt and i like that her mom thinks that's cute I like that her mom isn't like shocked or scandalized by that. That's very sweet. Uh, not my daughter. Not Jennifer. No, Walters. she thinks it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> she just like, look at this stupid video that they made. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she wants the conspiracy boards out of her living room. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Like I. It, it, this like I I still have my qualms about what happened at that event of just like it doesn't mm. necessarily make sense to me. Some of the details of what yeah. happened at that thing. Like, why was damage control literally right there? Yeah. Th how did they get there so fast? Doesn't make sense. Um, but all that aside, yeah, this stuff made se made sense. There was just like, OK, well. I guess she would try to get out of it like she'd take the plea deal and try to figure something out, like try to recoup her life. Like she didn't want to be She-Hulk in the first place. Like this just kind of happened to her. Uh, she was like starting to come to terms way. I think she got to a good place, but I, I think it was still like at the spot where, you know what? It's been like three months. It was a good run. Like. I, I can go back to just being Jen. I like I I I think she could still potentially have a career in law mm. somewhere, somehow. Mm. Um they they weren't sure where, because obviously this was a big scandal and probably most people would know of all of this. Mm. Uh but hey, she has uh Matt back in Hell's Kitchen as a fallback, right? Yeah. I'm sure he would uh hire mm -hmm. her qu quickly. Um but uh, yeah, so she gets out and d d d d d doesn't really know what to do. Tries t t texting her cousin, been like, "Hey, what's up?" Cut, text cousin? her cousin Bruce. She doesn't talk. Uh, right, text right. Yes. Chad. <laughs> hey, Chad, <laughs> I, can I pick your brain about something here? <laughs> also, I feel like I do have to apologize to Chad. I spent the last couple episodes on Chad Watch because I don't know if he he was going to intersect with this intelligentsia storyline. Chad is innocent. I'm, I'm glad he's not involved. Well, hey, season two, the return of oh, Chad. No. Right? Who who knows? Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that he was not wrapped up in that. I do have to say mm. this past week, though, just thinking about where the finale could go. I started to get more and more on, on board with your theory that maybe Chet is behind this. And I was like, I you didn't want to blame yeah. Chet, but, but, but I could I mean, see same. how it would be feasible. Right. Like, that's the thing. It's just like, oh, that <sighs> makes sense makes sense it's making more mm. and more sense but yeah it was not not it, him we'll get to the real culprit in just a sec because jen decides to hit up emil belonsky who mm. was like hey you can come stay at my ranch kind of whenever you yeah. want and so she's like you know what let me just go get away from everything let me just take a mental health break and so she goes there. I forget the name of the 
a guy that meets her there, the one that was in the wrecking crew. I forget yeah, his I don't name exactly. His name either. Um, but he he's like, yeah, let me set you up with a guest room, all that, all that stuff. Um, and at the same time, this is happening. Nikki, uh, who uh, Jen's mom sent her a copy of that video, is trying to scheme up a way to catch intelligentsia. Mm-hmm. And so she posts this video on mm-hmm. intelligentsia of Jen just acting a fool, just having mm-hmm. fun, d- 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 dancing and smacking her butt all silly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and immediately it starts getting responses, all that stuff. And Hulk King uh, re- re- responds is like, hey, we are having this event. Be there, bro. Uh, and Nikki's like, <laughs> I'm in. Am I a genius? Amazing. Right? Uh, I love Nikki. But then immediately I... realizes that she can't go to this event because she's a yeah. woman. Uh, mm-hmm. So she needs Pug's help. Uh, mm. so, so, yeah, you, you, you were about to chime in. No, I just I love the zoom in to the message that says, see you there, bro. bro. And Nikki <laughs> just, like, just takes a look at it and yells, Pog, are you still in the office? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I what I love about Pug is that he he gives off the same vibes as some of the people that I, I feel like would be in ent- mm. <laughs> intelligentsia. He kind of has that bro attitude uh, or just he, he just gives off that vibe. Right. We know mm. there's more to him th- than that. But that, that I think is what is so interesting about his character that he is. He's just he's grossed out. By all of the stuff that they do, mm-hmm. all of the stuff that they believe, like they like they like he's just like, I, I don't want any part of this. Like, this is disgusting. Um, and so I, 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 I think, yeah, that that is just a like pug. You're a real one. You a good yeah. one. Like, I pug I, is I, I solid. Like you. Yeah, it's yeah. one of my only minor qualms about this season. Not enough pug. Not enough pug. Uh, you know what? On on that note, not enough titania. Yeah, I. We need more titania. Least, we need more Nikki. We need more Mallory. Or, I thought you right. I would have taken more Mallory. I think there was an appropriate amount of titania, but I would have liked a more cohesive through line sure, regarding yeah. titania. We still have no uh, origin story for her. Who yep. is she? She is an enigma. Um, but 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 yeah, so Nikki and Pug go to this event that the intelligentsia is putting on. I don't even know how to describe this event. How how, how would you? It's it's it's, it's a yeah. um it's a seminar featuring a merch table. They have a merch table. They they have a, a life co- coach that eventually speaks. We'll get to, to that in, in a sec. But it's also like a, a congratulatory event, right? To just yeah. be like, guys, we did it. We 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 hacked her phone. We got her good. Pat on the back to us. Round of, of applause to all of you. Couldn't have done this without you, right? And that's kind of what the event is. It's it's such a weird event. Uh, but yeah, they it it, it pug g- 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 goes in this event and he is just trying to fit in the best he can. Nikki is coaching him as he has like one apple ear bud in and she's like, oh, say this. And he's just like, mm, I don't want to angrier. Say yeah, yeah. Do it angry. Yeah. And it pissed me off. And they're all just like, yeah. Uh, I thought that whole sequence was really, really good. Let me ask you this. Did you notice the signs in the back? Yes. Here? Yes. Okay. I immediately knew where they were. Yeah. Like I, I it was once they were in that and I was just kind of looking around at like, what's here? Where are they? All this stuff I saw today is today. Emil <laughs> Blonsky. And I was just like, oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> like, I, I. It does seem like whenever Todd sought out a venue and booked this event, I don't think Emil specifically knows what they're oh, about. Oh, I sure. think yes. Todd probably just generalized to him. Like, yeah, we're just a 
a group of men chasing our dreams like you tell people to do. Like, I think Emil is oblivious. Somebody just wanted a speech from him. And he's like, I would love the chance to give a generically inspirational speech to somebody. Also, like it it fits, though, like I'm I'm wondering if he also sought out um, the abomination to be like, hey, you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were serving your country like all of this stuff. And they they wronged you. Right. Like here, like you are not and you've made it past that and you've made something of yeah, 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 yourself. We would love to have you speak at our mm. uh, event here. Um, but but yeah, at, at the end of the day, I, I don't think Emil knows or knew exactly what they were up front. Uh, but now it's just like, oh, OK, yeah, uh, not good. Right. And I like that. When the scuffle starts, he like picks Jen up because she can't turn into She-Hulk anymore. It's kind of sweet when he picks her up and almost like puts her on his shoulder. Right. Um. D- 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 on, yeah. On on one hand, it is sweet. It's also a little bit uh like d- 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 damseling because at, well, at at that point, like, is she really Jenna? D- like, if if they stuck w- with that. Do you think she would really just be like, oh, no, I have this inhibitor on me. I can't turn. Hold. Wouldn't she yeah, have just I been think like, if you, that scene... you know what? Screw this. Like, here, here right. we go. Ballroom blitz. Let's go. Yeah. I think if they stuck with that scene, she might have torn that inhibitor off and she hulked out. But I can see in his mind that he's probably heard she is the inhibitor, knows she is a law abiding citizen and she's not going to take it off. She can't. Yeah. She hulk out. Jen doesn't have any offensive capabilities. I I can understand his good intentions and oh, I better lift her Ab- right out of the absolutely. action. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so on that point, yeah. Pug they're they're at the uh the Emil's ranch. I'm not sure if it has a name. Is it a abomination ranch? Is it Blonsky ranch? I don't know. But uh yeah. P- P- Pug then sees Todd and Todd is the one behind intelligentsia. Yeah. All, all that good stuff uh, or not good stuff. Which we all um, we all knew Todd was involved. There was some question yes. about is there somebody else involved? Is he the number one person? Is there somebody above him like Dark Ched? No, it's just Todd. <laughs> dark chid uh yeah and it it all makes sense it it all fits uh and then yeah jen also ends up walking in on this event because she wants to talk to emil who is in the same baby building as the intelligentsia uh and she is just flabbergasted what is going on here and she's still just like you know what i don't even care about todd like and she she focuses on uh abomination and she's just like what are you doing like we 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 had something here like you you said you and you're now like like that is the problem she sees immediately uh and then that's when nikki storms in and it's like it's todd he's the whole king um and then he he explains it all. Yep, I was the one that hired Josh. I he I was the one that t- told him to steal your blood, and I have now earned these powers. And he stabs himself with the syringe of her blood, uh, and hulks out. And it just it looks <laughs> it, it, ridiculous. He looks so it's funny. so funny. Yeah, it's 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 funny in a an excellent way. Like the fu- after he's done bulking up, <laughs> he starts like arm first. It's really irregular yeah. when he's done. Like effects wise, I think he looks really good. Yep, I think he's yeah. well designed as a final product because he he just still has the like man fucking Todd. Like <laughs> like he, yeah, if if he were to remain a character that got those powers and stuff like that, like that would be the response every single time. Just like, dang, it's Todd. It's the it's freaking Todd, man. Right. right. And you're still, still sitting there just like <laughs> Todd. come at me, bro. Right. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, it just chaos starts to in in so. It, it, that's when Abomination picks up Jen. Titania smashes in the wall. Yeah. Uh, then 
Barus uh, c- comes in. Uh, he he's he's there. Everything is just had j- just went crazy. And yes. Jen is just like, what? Huh? Hold on. What? No, stop. Like, this is n- none of this makes sense. Like, he was off planet. Why is she here? This doesn't make yeah. sense. Like all of the death stuff. And she is just like, I am having none of it. Uh, and this is where we start to break the fourth wall in a way that this show has not yet. It starts yeah. to get very meta. Um, what did you think of what happens next? We 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 get this uh like return to the Disney Plus <laughs> Marvel Hub screen. Love it. Jen is still talking. She smashes <laughs> Taru oh. the the She Hulk like little, little uh picture there and then ends up swinging into the marvel assembled uh yes reality so smart into our I, reality i love that they are making this behind the scenes documentary series part of like the canon of the fictional narrative she she jumps into real walt disney production studios yep. you walk past that building that's got the seven dwarves holding up the pillars into one our of my universe favorite buildings yeah. Yeah, that goes into the Marvel offices. I think it's so funny that She-Hulk does not fight any actual bad guys. She just fights Marvel Studios security personnel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she she ends up making her way into the She-Hulk production uh, stage studio area. Yeah, she goes to the, the writer's offices. room. Yeah, she goes to, to the writer's room and is just like, guys what the hell and she walks in on them being like what if season two is all a dream sequence and, cool. and they're just like oh yeah i love it Good, great and they they're they're just they're taken so aback that she is like upset at the the, the the show that they've been writing uh i like how there's that one guy the camera focuses on who has no speaking lines he's just like he's in his chair just like stuck just like <laughs> Uh, She-Hulk is standing right next to me. What is happening? Um, it, yeah, it's it's crazy. But then she ends up uh, being be, be like, why? Like, why? Ca- 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 like, well, why does it have to be this way? And yeah. they say, well, it's because Kevin said so. And she's just like, OK, well, I need to go speak to Kevin. And they're like, what? Mm, n- nobody speaks to Kevin. And. Do, so, uh, do do you watch this with captions on? No. No. Okay, so you did not know that it was an acronym. Uh, no, at, I at, thought at it first. was literally the man in the hat. Exactly. So if, if you are watching this with ca- ca- with ca- captions on, like I did, when they said Kevin, it it's it's an acronym. K dot E dot V dot I dot N dot, right? And so I knew, I was like, Okay, I get the joke, like Kevin Feige, but what does Kevin stand for? Is this like a play on <laughs> Modoc? What is happening here? Like, what is what is going on? Uh, like, I I I did not know what to expect af- after this. I was like, okay, I've I've completely lost it. Uh, she goes to see Kevin. She has this like hallway fight sequence that's mm-hmm. kind of reminiscent of Black Widow in Iron Man Two. Oh yeah. Um, and she walks into this room and this like circular machine that's hooked up to all of these things that's also very reminiscent of uh the the bad guy in Portal and Portal 2 uh oh yeah it, it just just bought, and it, he's just like hello i'm kevin <laughs> and it, what was that the acronym it it was like knowledge enhanced visually interconnectivity visual something nexus nexus yeah, visual yeah. in like visual interface nexus i like that nexus could have been network instead it is the very the, you know wanda's a nexus he, he is a like nexus something connected being. to yes. the war yeah yeah kind of wild uh yeah and it is in fact not kevin feige it is this artificial intelligence <laughs> Um, that even had like on on the machine has like a a brim like it's wearing a hat <laughs> like he always has his dad hats on there. Uh, so funny. 
but yeah, she's confused. Like, what's happening? It turns out he's the one that kind of dictates all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe yeah. stories. Uh, what did you think of the, all of the, that stuff? I loved it. We go into this. First, we go into this room that just has a big curved screen showing clips of different Marvel movies. Like, it looks like what you walk out in front of during an upfront, during a presentation, during like a, the shareholders weekend. It and almost looked that it was like so all funny. of the clips that play in the Marvel Studios logo yeah. that are like on yes. that. Yeah. I thought it was so funny initially, like, oh, this is Kevin's office. It just looks like an upfront presentation setup. That's how he lives. Hi, but I'm Kevin just... Feige. And I love <laughs> 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 so, so to everybody like Kevin I've been your secretary for 12 years I know <laughs> I love that it's a robot I love the acronym I love the little hat I love the RGB lens eyes it's so like sh this is not as meta as I was expecting the show to go I think it's very clever I think it's so fun I think it's introduced at the right time where the show like the narrative in the 616 world has escalated to a point where you're like, all, all of this is happening? Really? And then, no. Well, it is happening. But then Jen is like, Jen's with you. She's like, time out. I cannot accept this. Like, this is my show. It's always been my show. She's like, I'm going to talk to the writers. I'm going to get it fixed. I don't stand for this. I'm not. And she, she doesn't want to fight. She's like, I'm a lawyer. This is a legal comedy. This is not an action show. Let me argue my point, Kevin the Robot. He's like, very well, very well, well. And so, yeah, she she starts to kind of critique the MCU in in vague terms. I, I yeah. feel like it was the softest cr critique of the MCU you could put in that. Um, but it wasn't inaccurate is 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 the the, the thing, right? Uh, and she kind of recontextualizes her show like all of these rely on these big stakes. Well, the stakes of me and my life, it was coming to terms with my identity. Yeah, like that, that was it. Like, let that be. The finale, let that be the resolution here. Uh, and he, 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 Kevin is just like, hmm, OK, let me input this new data. How would you end the show? And she's like, well, first of all, like my cousin's off planet, like he j j yeah. doesn't need to do all of that stuff. And he's like, but uh, but he needs to explain where he's been this whole time. And, and she's just like, no, nah, we don't. They, they, they mentioned like save it for the movie, uh, which which is a nice tip of the hat to something that may probably not be in the works but might be who knows um we know that these characters will return down the road um but yeah yeah they they she's like like get him out of there D this whole thing had nothing to do with t t todd g g g g getting powers the powers are not the bad guy like i don't need to fight a copy of myself right um mm -hmm which is another ish issue that the MCU ha ha has had to like the hero just fights another yeah. version of themselves. Right. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm they, they got rid of all of that stuff and it was more so of just like, uh, Hey, let me take him to court. Like, let, yeah. let, let me just have that be the end of this thing. He gets yeah. arrested and I sue him. And yeah, she's like, it. I just want, normal legal repercussions which is what she was telling nikki earlier when nikki right. was like we're gonna get justice by any means necessary and jen's like no we're gonna get justice by the law book <laughs> like that's what she's always upheld like no if there is a way that i can do this above board i am going to do it that way right. like sh shulking out is the last resort like i'm not gonna make a habit out of this <laughs> Yeah, she's Absolutely. like, take out all these things that don't make sense. You know, the why is Bruce there? Why would I take a break another wall? And she's like, uh, can Daredevil come back? Just just for me. Girl has needs. <laughs> Bring Daredevil <laughs> back. 
Yeah. And so th- things go go back to the the what was happening before. It's now changed to de- de- daylight at Jen's re- request. Uh, and yeah, I- Emil is getting arrested. Daredevil just drops out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, uh, he and, just spawns uh, there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it, it 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 ends how Jen wanted it to. We, we don't necessarily get to see that just yet. That mm. if there is a season two, it might start with that case yeah. of her suing him. Um, but that is es- essentially what it l- left off with. It was just like, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to go sue him. And here I am. I am now Jen. And She-Hulk, and I am proud of who I am. I am a lawyer and a superhero. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, yeah, I, I liked that a lot. Um, we do get an, an, another scene after this of Jen with her family having a barbecue in the backyard of one of their homes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Matt Murdock is joining them. Very cute. That yeah. was very sweet. We were talking the other week about how this seemed like, oh, this is just a fling. I, I think they're friends with benefits and colleagues with benefits. Like they might sleep together in the future or collaborate on a law or crime fighting case. But I don't think that's going to be a whole relationship. But this I'm taking you to my family barbecue and my dad's going to ask you about grandchildren. Uh, maybe we are heading in that direction. Maybe. Yeah. I, I last week I expressed that like I, I don't know how I feel about a more long term relationship between mm-hmm. them. But part of that was also because I just haven't really seen those two characters interact all that much mm-hmm. in the co- comics all that much. Uh, and so now that I've seen them even just the tiniest bit more, I'm like one step closer to being like, OK, you know what? I can I can yeah. see this. I, I can get down with this. I, I, I did definitely like it a lot more than I was last week of just being like, let them have their fun that one time. Yeah. They're, you know, they're going to sh- sh- mm. show up in secret wars and bat eyelashes at one another. And mm-hmm. those of you who watch the, sh- the show will know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, who, who knows? We might get to see She-Hulk show up every now and then in Daredevil Born Again. Maybe. Might get to see her there. Nice. Who knows? Um, but uh, we do get an after credits sequence. Uh, with her, Oh, well, no. I well, the barbecue say, ain't done because Bruce I, I, shows up. Keep thinking that that is the after credits it, sequence. It feels very after credits But yeah, Hulk shows Bruce and Hulk form shows up, smart Hulk there. And he's like, hey, guys, I'm sorry I disappeared for so long. I had business to attend to on Sakaar. Here's my son, Scar. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Something that was theorized about the show. And it seemed like with such the strong gen focus, like, I don't know if that's something this show is going to have room to fit in. They slide in here right here at the end. And I think doing it through one of these family dinner scenes is an appropriate way to introduce it. I don't think it really overshadows anything like this is still Jen's episode for sure. Scar's oh, yeah. like this little bonus add on at the end. I don't think he even says Just a an, word. An Barely interesting even twist. Yeah. 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 Man, I, he's I, here. I, Hulk dad. I'm I, I'm wondering if Marvel has maybe found a loophole to do a Hulk movie because uh, it I they I Universal owns the movie rights to the Hulk. I don't know if that extends to other characters. I, I, yeah. I, I don't know what the terms of that agreement is that we know that they can use Hulk if it's not a Hulk movie. That's why he's shown up in Avengers stuff uh but i'm wondering yeah now that they have she hulk and scar and we know that abomination is still around we know that the leader is going to be the villain of captain america 4 i'm wondering if there is some kind of like gamma squad movie that they could do Ooh. or like a hulk family movie that it's it's hulk not family. just right it's not just about bruce it's actually 
maybe a more She-Hulk centric movie and just happens to include like it. Could that be some loophole Mm -hmm. there or is Universal maybe wanting to play ball a little bit? Uh I don't know. There, there have been, or maybe those rights were expiring after a certain amount of time. I there don't was rumors remember. about that. Yeah. Yes, that it, the the expiration date could be quickly approaching because they did hint mm. at a movie twice in that scene with Kevin, but Kevin did also turn it down in that scene. But again, that's a scene of a robot named Kevin. It just it's yeah. d- don't take that as fact that they are or are not making a hulk related movie um but yeah we get scar here which i i was not expecting to be in this yeah. show um but there he is uh and then we do get an end credit scene it's back to emil balanski in his damage control cell and wong shows up and does his little spiral portal thing he's like ah Emil, I'm so sorry. I'm late. Mm. I, I, I had a dead, 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 And Emil says what we're all thinking. You got wrapped up in another show, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he, without, with, with, without as many words, he's, he's just like, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, and it just, they go off. He's apparently staying at Comertage now. I don't know if that yeah, is. which legal or not is this right. gonna this come the, back this is the thing that wong just straight up uh vanished out of legal proceedings they're like if you took a maximum security prisoner just out of his cell due, due to magic he's now a repeat we, offender we, yeah maybe we can't prosecute him but we can prosecute you for that and then he just yeah sling rings right out of there and now he's doing the same thing again like why are you making these choices, Wong? Yeah. Why is this so worth it to you? Yeah. So <laughs> that is the the thing. At when before we had watched this show, that is one of the things we were speculating is that maybe yeah. one of the conditions of Emil's parole was some kind of rehabilitation uh thing. Obviously, he has his own method for that, right? Mm-hmm. But some place like Comartage could pot- potentially be that respite away from everything where there are powerful enough people to keep the abomination at bay from hurting p- <laughs> people there. So could be some rehab thing and they just haven't ex- explained it yet that, hey, on Tuesdays, he gets to hang out with Wong, Sorcerer yeah. Supreme. Yeah. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe they like worked it into the parole now. Like, okay, if he has the power to come back here and do this at any point, maybe it is healthy for you to go spend time with him. Maybe it's not worth the hassle for easier to just let it happen than persecute you. Yeah. If you can just magic everything away and (laughs) do all of that stuff. Right. Um, Mm. But yeah, I man, when when I first finished this, I I just I felt like I got had gotten hit by a truck. I was just like, what? That's what, what I like. What just happened? This was We're, wild. I keep saying we are so deep in the MCU now. We are so used to it. It's so familiar to us. They can still surprise us, but like oh, sure, yeah. really break the thing for us. Please, we can handle it. You are elastic enough. You will snap back. Like, do these meta breaks. Like, really shock us, please. Yes, yeah. That is the, because, like, as uh, someone who went through art school, school, is that that is kind of the thing you learn. Is like, hey, if you learn all the rules, all the techniques, all of the, the, you use this thing when you do that, but don't do it here when you do this thing. Like, if you learn those and you show that you can master them, then after that, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can ignore them. Who knows what? And I think that's what we're kind of finally starting to get in the MCU. I think between this and what they did with Werewolf by, by Night, which was yeah. incredible. Uh, like, I just, man, just break that formula. 
make it as meta as you want. Give me the most bonkers banana thing. Just like you've shown that you have the formula and it works. And it works over an extended period of time of multiple franchises, all of this stuff. Now show me you know how to break it and manipulate yeah. it and do all of that stuff. That's what I want. Um, this so I, is I thought the, this was great. This is the madness I was looking for out of Multiverse of Madness. Matter. Matter every time is what I want. There you go. Let me ask you this. Now that we've watched the entire thing, was there anything that you felt like we did not get that you wanted or you wanted more of? I know we already talked about some of the characters that we would love to see and spend time with. Uh, but was yeah. there anything else that you were just like, man, I, I wish they had done this? Um, I don't know. I like this show had such an opportunity for even more of the one-off legal cases like that immortal man or like the <laughs> the shapeshifter who's like taken Megan the Stallion's place or even like uh Eugene Patillo like putting <laughs> jet fuel in his rocket frog, boots. yeah I I want like, even more of that even more like weird side parts of the MCU like somebody from Peter Quill's hometown who still has an insurance claim because an alien egg erupted out of the ground and destroyed their truck. Like, I want to hear from all of these people who've collected collateral damage over the last 12 years. Or someone who's now claiming that, like, oh, the ca the cancer I have was because of the the Chitari stuff that mm. landed in the same building that I was in, right? Uh, stuff like that. So, here, what I think is like I'm I, I'm almost struggling of like, do I want more like a story focused season two stuff like that? I to be honest, I think I want l even less story than what we got in this one. Almost. Yeah, like, I, I want more of these just one off c cases. I think that's a lot of fun. And I think season one has kind of earned its right to do that if they want. Um, mm hmm. As much as I, I I do want a great narrative because that's what I personally enjoy, this show really su surprised me and never gave, gave, gave me what I wanted or expected. Uh, and I yeah. think the finale is a perfect ex example of, of that. But I, I feel like the show can just kind of be like, you know what? The MCU can do what the MCU wants to do. Mm. We'll have some Easter eggs that will connect, but... I feel like season two could almost be double the length of this. Do like a yeah. whole 20 episode thing and just just more cases, please. Just mm -hmm. give me like more it. legal stuff. That's what I want um, from this. I, I doubt that's what they're going to do, but I would love that. I still also wish that they had done the archives. Kevin yes, is kind of almost the like that. I want the archives. The, their yeah, their giant want, collection of comics. Uh, yeah, I want a real look precedent. into how comic books exist within this world inspired by comic books. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That that I think would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I I thoroughly enjoyed this. I the more I look back on this finale, the more I'm just like, man, She Hulk was yeah good. It was something special. That was best awesome. finale since Loki. Agreed. Yep. Mm hmm. Indeed. Uh, well, do you have any other kind of final thoughts that you want to add to that? Ah, uh, no. Just had just had a good old time. Very happy for the time, time I spent with She Hulk. What's we solo know our next show coming on down the line. We know we've got the Guardians holiday special and we know the shows that are preparing to come out soon. Is the next one Secret Invasion? I don't know what's I first so. after this. I believe okay. so. I believe Secret Invasion is the next one. I think what if season I, I forget when what if season yeah, two is coming, that one's out, coming but that's up also soon too. pretty soon. Yeah. Um. But yeah, in terms of Marvel stuff, yeah, we have a few of the movies that we will do spoiler casts for uh, the holiday special uh, and secret invasion yeah. when it is out in the near future. 
Uh, of course, we are continuing our reactions to Star Wars and Jojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojojoj